Hi everyone, it's Bart. I uh, just wanted to provide you another yoga sequence. Uh, today I'm actually, if you can look behind me, I'm in the middle of the woods. Uh, figured I'd pick it up right here. I've definitely done this on my own many times uh, as I take a break throughout a, a hike or a walk or I uh, just want to find some calm for myself uh, in, in nature and then also using the practice of yoga uh, in combination with that. So uh, I encourage you to Find that space if you're able to. If you are able to find that space in your house, that's great as well. Uh, I have three boys at home and oftentimes um, that space isn't always available. So looking out and, uh, and finding a space to, to provide myself a practice is something I do quite a bit. So I wanted to show you that today. Um, number one thing I want to let you know is um, as you're doing yoga, I have no um, knowledge base of, of any sort of uh, injury that anybody might have um, and so I really want you to know that I really am hoping that everybody can just do this at the speed that, that they choose for their life situation, uh, for their body. Um, you know, I've said this before, but if, if your forward fold is right here and this is your forward fold, that's great. If your forward fold can go all the way to the ground, that's great. Um, don't want anybody to get hurt while, while pr practicing yoga. If it hurts, don't do it. Um, if there's a, uh, something, a posture that I'm showing, and it doesn't feel comfortable for you, please avoid that posture. There's, there's no reason to put yourself into that into that situation at all. So um, with that being said, I do want to get started with our practice today. Um, if you have any questions for me um, as we get into our practice, please feel free to either contact me directly or go to one of the administrators in your building and they can definitely find my email and get a message to me as well. So uh, here we go, we're gonna begin. Now with this, with this practice, for those of you that have done it with me before, um, the breath envelops the movement. And what I mean by that is all the movement that you're going to do is going to be surrounded by breath. So if I even go inhale and I inhale from above, so we're going to bring the, draw the air in from above, and I inhale, and I exhale, and then move. And then when I stop moving, I finish the exhale on the other side. So the breath is basically the envelope. The movement is the letter. So everything is surrounded by breath all the time. Now we uh, try to utilize uh, breathing through our uh, nostrils, uh, not our mouth, but you may hear me breathe through my mouth um, here and there because I want you to hear the breath um, for the video. And so I'm gonna escalate my breath to a point where I think you can hear it on the video. So um, first thing we're gonna do is begin with that just kind of practicing that inhale from above. Exhale, belly button to spine. Inhaling through the crown or through the top and drawing that air in from above. So we're gonna inhale, begin your inhale now. Move, finish the move, then finish the inhale. Slight pause, begin your exhale. Finish the move, then finish the exhale. Now we're gonna start that with arms, okay? Here we go, so we're gonna begin the inhale. Finish the move, then finish the inhale. Begin your exhale, then come down. Hands to side, then finish the exhale. Again, inhale now, rising up. Finish the move, then finish the inhale. Begin the exhale. Arms to side, then finish the exhale. One more time, begin the inhale. Finish the move, then finish the inhale. And we're gonna stay here for three breaths. In and out. And on that last exhale, arms to side. We're gonna widen our stance just slightly. And we're gonna incorporate a forward fold, so we're gonna Go on the inhale, rising up, and begin the exhale, then forward fold. Now it can be to thighs, knees, shins, feet, or floor, whatever's comfortable for you. It's okay to bend the knees as we rise up, making sure to protect our back, finish the inhale, then begin the exhale, then move, forward fold. Begin the inhale and rise. Finish your rise and finish the inhale. Finish, the, begin your exhale.
Bending knees on the way up if you'd like. Last exhale. And we're gonna stay down for three breaths here. Rising all the way up, hands overhead on the inhale. Finish the inhale, begin your exhale, hands to your sides. Now we're gonna simply take one step forward. And what I mean, when I say one step, step forward, I'm only saying two, like maybe three feet out in front. It doesn't not need to be in a big exaggerated kind of warrior one posture that you see in some yoga classes. This is a little bit more gentle than that. You wanna make sure that you can see your toes over your knee. Um, to make sure that you protect your knee. I don't want to, we don't want to have somebody like taking their knee way out over their toes here. So I want you to kind of just take a gentle step forward, slight bend in your knee, back leg tends to be a little straight, and we go hands over head on the inhale, begin your exhale and forward fold. Hands can go to thigh, knee, chin, foot or floor. Rise on the inhale, then move. Finish the move, then finish the inhale. Begin the exhale, forward fold. Begin the inhale and rise. Begin the exhale, forward fold. And on this last inhale, we're gonna stay here for three breaths. Gaze can go forward, can, or it can go towards your thumbs. After the end of three, you can step forward, send the other foot backwards, same position, make sure you can see your toes over your knee, rising up on the inhale, and forward fold, again finding that place that is comfortable for you, also knowing that that can be different on each side, you may have a knee that doesn't feel so good, and might need to make adjustments that are different from side to side and that's absolutely appropriate and okay. Begin your inhale and rise. Begin your exhale, forward fold. Rising up. Now finish the inhale. Begin your exhale and on this forward fold we're gonna stay down for three breaths. Two, three, rising up, finish the move, then finish the inhale, bring your arms to side, now we're going to start to introduce some twists, these are going to be palm up, and as you rotate you can follow, have your gaze follow your hand towards the back, or your gaze can go towards the side as your arm goes back, again, Feel free to go as far as you like in this twist. And we're gonna go palms up and as we rotate, we're gonna bring our palms down. So here we go. Just like wringing out a towel, we're soaking it in on the inhale in the neutral position. Drawing energy and air in. And on the exhale, we're gonna wring that out. Exhale, belly button to spine. Inhaling, finish the move, then finish the inhale. Begin your exhale. Then palms down, finish the exhale, begin your inhale, then move, finish the move, then finish the inhale, begin the exhale, move to the other side, coming forward, finish the move, then finish the inhale, begin the exhale and twist. up in the neutral position exhale belly button to spine tall and we're going to stay here for three breaths coming forward on the third breath palms up begin the exhale rotating 
Staying here for three breaths again. The other side. Inhale, we bring forward, come forward, and hands to center. We can keep our legs about the same, or even a little bit wider. We're going to uh, combine the forward fold and the twist now. So we're going to do a forward fold with twist. So palms will be up. On the inhale, on the exhale, we forward fold with the twist. Now our hand can go to our thigh. If this is where we're, is it, if this is where we feel comfortable, that's great. You can bring it to your knee, your shin, the foot, palm to the sky towards the back, rising up on the inhale, finish the move, then finish the inhale, then begin the exhale, then move. Rising up on the inhale. It is okay to bend the knee that you're turning into, if that feels more comfortable to you, to bend that knee. You don't want to hyperextend your knee out. up on the inhale finish the move then finish the inhale begin the exhale forward fold with a twist and on this next one we're going to stay down for two breaths this time rising up palms up Begin the exhale to the other side, forward fold with a twist, to whatever position is comfortable for you. Bending the knee if that's what you need. And rising up, hands overhead. The inhale, and on the exhale, hands to the side. Good job everyone. Now we're going to move into some uh, some other postures uh, other than forward folds right now. Um, first one's going to be simply grabbing the back of the knee or in front of the knee, whatever feels comfortable to you. And we're simply on the exhale going to draw the knee up and in and just relax, straighten our arms on the inhale. We'll turn this way so you can see it. So arms are straight and expansive on the inhale, on the exhale. We will simply draw that knee in. See if that's better for you guys. So it'll be inhale, arms out straight, expansive, in either position. On the exhale, drawing that knee up and in, and down. So we'll start here. Find that position that feels comfortable for you. It's okay if you fall out of this. I might even fall out of this. It absolutely happens in balancing postures. That's what it's there to do. Just get back into it when it feels comfortable for you. And on our exhale, we're going to compress that posture, drawing that knee up and in. Inhaling, arms straighten, dropping the knee, creating space on the inhale. Begin the exhale, then move. Compress the posture, then finish the exhale. Begin the inhale, then move. Begin your exhale and move. Up and in on the posture, staying here for two breaths. And now, now we'll switch sides and find that posture that feels comfortable for you, either hands behind the knee or in front of the knee, arms straightened and open, expansive. And on the exhale, we compress, drawing the knee up and in. Inhaling, open, drawing air in, finishing the move, finishing the inhale, and begin the exhale. Drawing the knee up and in on the exhale, compressing the posture, finishing the exhale after the move. And inhale. Begin the exhale, then move, compress that posture, and we'll hold here for two breaths. We're going to do a tree posture. It's another balancing posture. It's just a different foot position. Um, 
Oftentimes in yoga classes, you'll see people go put their foot way up in here on their thigh. You can definitely do that, but most people will find themselves, especially in, in situations where you, you're um, in more like street style clothes, you might put your foot down here on your calf. You don't want to put it on your knee or on your ankle. You want to definitely put that on right on your calf there. Hands can go to heart center. Hands can go out to the side, up, straight overhead if you choose. And if you want to challenge your balancing posture at all, definitely do not have to. You can also bring your gaze up towards your thumbs if you choose during this posture. And we're going to be here for five breaths. switching sides and you can also change your hand position during this posture if you'd like for the second side just for something different five breaths here starting now Now we're gonna do a kind of extended length forward fold. So whatever feels comfortable for you from here. Knees, thigh, ankle, foot or floor. Whatever you like, we're gonna simply relax our body at this point. Um, some people oftentimes use a chair um, and, and kind of do a supportive, supportive forward fold. Um, out here, you might find just a piece of wood just to kind of allow your body to relax. You don't wanna, um, you want to keep a little micro bend in your knees on a forward fold. But you can find a chair and put your arms on the back of a chair. I'm using this stick. Or you can simply forward fold. So we'll be here for five breaths. Just make yourself comfortable. You can also do something called a rag doll, which is basically hands the opposite elbow. And you let your head go. And we'll just be here for a while. Five breaths here. And rising up. Hands overhead. Finish and down now we're just in a forward fold we're going to kind of reverse that in this next posture which is hands overhead and we're simply going to let our bellies out nobody's around we're at home now it's all good and on the exhale we're simply going to do a kind of a baby back bend allowing our gaze to drift backwards just a little bit on the exhale we inhale to the neutral position exhale baby back bend Again, begin the inhale, then rise. Finish the move, then finish the inhale. Begin the exhale, then baby back bend. And last one. And hands to side. We're going to continue uh, with side bends. So we're going to go hands overhead this time on the inhale. Neutral position, one hand to opposite wrist. On the exhale, simply side bend. You don't want to kind of bring your head to either side of your shoulders. Try to keep it in kind of a between your shoulders, neutral. Inhaling, switching hands, exhaling to the other side. Inhale, begin the exhale, then move. Finish the move, then finish the exhale. Finish the move, then finish the exhale. Begin the inhale, rising up 
and last time to each side. Give me your shoulders a little shrug out after that. And at this point, we're going to enter just a nice state of rest in a standing position, uh, being in the woods here. At home, you might find yourself on a chair or actually laying down on a mat or on the floor around you, uh, hands aside, whatever feels comfortable. And we'll stay here for as long as you'd like. I'm not going to stay with you forever so um, but feel if you feel comfortable in that position would like to stay there please do um, I'm going to end the video now but feel free to continue uh, in your resting posture and uh, I hope this video finds you in good health and I absolutely enjoy it. and it's a privilege to teach yoga for you all and uh, I'll keep putting out more videos every week or so uh, from a new location maybe a little bit different practice every time uh, but all kind of maintain that same uh, basic um, sequencing uh, that I that I do so take care everyone talk to you later bye bye